Give me one second. Um, Ezra, someone appears before your eyes as well by a different statue. A large sized being, merging the most horrifying features of a carrion fed insect and withered cadaver. This bony devil moves in unsettling lurches. I'm going to make him bigger so everyone can see. Your strength is evident. <laughs> you wish to strike a deal with Hell, adventurer? I'll take whatever power lets me seek revenge on my enemies. Good, good. <laughs> Just like your friend there, your soul would belong to the pit, yes? You understand this? I understand. <sighs> Ah, another soul for the weapon forges of the pit. Very well. We can strike a deal. All right. My powers come from the poison flowing from my sting. With this contract, you will gain the same abilities. You'll gain my stealth and my sting together. Um, mechanically, what this happened, you would be able to use once per day as a spell like ability. You would be able to use quickened invisibility. So invisibility is a swift action. And you will grow his stinger, his bone tail, out of your body. Secreting, <laughs> secreting bone devil toxins. That's awesome. Ew. Do that's we cool. have an accord? He like stretches forth this hand that's like 90% skeletal, 10% like a thin layer of withered leathery flesh that cracks as he flexes the fingers. Ezra reaches his hand out and right before he grabs it, he pulls back just a little and says, so long as there's more power to come. Let's see if you survive where you're headed first. <laughs> Holds out his hand. I always survive. And he grabs his hand and shakes it. Grabs it. Yes! <laughs> Another soul for the pit. You feel... You start writhing on the ground as you feel your spine, like, crack into longer segments, stretching farther than it ever should rightfully in your body. As your bony tail sprouts from the base of your spine, stinger curling over your head, dripping, like, red and green marbled venom, like, the colors mixed together. Uh, and you gain that quickened once-per-day invisibility. Very cool. And just so everybody knows, Ezra started out this path as like a uh, like a neutral good guy and has shifted to uh, oh, yeah, chaotic he's... neutral. And I he's think he's on, on the path to, to becoming evil. 